What did he post? Did he post something? Did you see Nate Diaz tweet? I didn't see Nate Diaz's tweet. No. He posted a Twitter about rising. Okay, shut the f up, Nate, you fucking spaz. You're not fighting him rising, dude. This is PFL. Like, he's just doing this to troll and get a bit of a headline. He ain't signing for fucking rising, dude. Fuck that. Um, Nate Jake would be at 185. Jake beats him in MMA. Nate isn't a pulling guard into sub. You're delusional. If he's in trouble, he will pull guard and Jake Paul will have to... Well, he, I don't know. He'll have to stand him back up. But if Jake, if Nate's not liking the stand-up and he can choose, he will go to the ground. But I'm having a problem here because I want to say that if he was a big underdog, I would put money on Jake to beat him in MMA. Because Nate is like a skinny, scrawny bitch, and he looked so bad against Tony Ferguson. He looked so old and senile in that fight, so I don't know. Tom Aspinall saying I have, and I rate it highly impression. Uh, impression. Hey, uh, Tom Aspinall, have you seen MMA Guru's impression of you? You know what? I have, and I rate it very highly. It was a great impression. Really, really good impression. It was great. But I don't want to be a uh, brown nose from the UK hyping up the MMA guru. I don't want him to be some kind of a hype train impressionist from the UK. I, I hope he really practices out here. Thank you for the two euros swaggered. Oh, dangerous word. Skyrim NPC, yeah. Hello, fellow traveler. Could you potentially stop? In your tracks and take the high road up to Mountain's Peak and fight the dragon that lives there. Tom Aspinall, the side quest character in Skyrim. You've got to travel to Folk Reach to learn the art of the two handed sword. Um, I would love to fight Blagojevan. I'd love to fight Blagojevanov. He's a great fighter. I'd love to fight him. Somebody stole my dragon claw and took it into Barrow's Barrow. If you're a Skyrim, you'll know what I mean about Barrow's. I can't remember what it's called, though. What's it called? Barrow's what? Thank you for the two pounds, Dexter. I appreciate your two pounds, Dexter. Thank you. Uh, the claw thing, the OG mission. I can't remember. Bleak Falls Barrow. That's what it is. Thank you very much for the two pounds, Dexter. Which fighter is the most unintelligent, in your opinion? Um... Which fighter is the most unintelligent in your opinion? Probably. I don't know, dude. There's a lot up for... There's a lot that are in... Probably in Ghana. Let's be real. It's probably in Ghana. I know people say, but you learn different languages, but you just adapt that way. Probably Ricky Tercios, Elkins, something like that. Matt Vandera, true. Vandera's in the mix. Thoughts on Ricky Simone versus Piotr Yam? Um, it's a good matchup for Piotr Yam because Ricky Simone's kind of chinny and Faber beat him. And so I, I can't pick Simone to beat Yam. So I reckon Yam would stuff a couple takedowns and chin him in the clinch or something like that with an elbow. Wilder versus Ruiz is official. That's sick. That's really good for boxing. Good for them. I know they were going to do it anyway and it's kind of been confirmed for a while because they were basically doing like a mini Grand Prix. But um, that's really good. The road to title redemption. Wow. Deontay Wilder versus Andy Ruiz. When is it going to take place? Oh, they haven't chose yet, or they're just saying that it's going to take place. I don't think they've given an official date yet. Thank you for the six months of membership. I appreciate your six months of membership. Lorenzo Van Stormfire. Thank you very much indeed. Tom Aspinall giving a young traveler named Ilya a side quest to fetch his shekels from a couple hooligans in a Spanish bar impression. Come on, man. <laughs> what the fuck you want to do? Black, 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 black. What do you want me to do for you? 
You know what you're going to have to do? Travel to the far distant corners of Spain. You'll find a man in there, a bard by the name of Johnny O. Johnzo. He'll have what you require, but you may have to get a bit ruthless with him. He's a tough guy. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're going to have to travel to the distant lands of Spain. Thank you for the two pounds, Dexter. I appreciate your two pounds, good sir. Where the hell is Colby Covington? I'm angry at him. Same here, Sir Logan. I'm extremely angry at Colby Covington. It's pissing me off. He don't fucking fight anymore. Thank you for the five pounds, Dan. Do you ever get concerned a fighter's CTE will get the better of them and get emotional at one of your takes and try and find you like Bisping? Like, if I go to a UFC event in London, chat yes or no? <laughs> I love doing chat yes or no's. Um, do I get confronted by someone? If I go to UFC London and I'm backstage, do I get confronted by like Bisping, Hardy, Gooden, maybe Goddard? Someone's gonna like you hey, yeah, 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 and give me a talking to for sure, I reckon. Thank you for the £4.49. I appreciate your £4.49, Dexter. Thank you. Know any wild pre-UFC wins that fighters have, like how Sun Sal has a win over Masvidal and like Bilal over Chris Curtis. Good night, brother. Um, Sun Sal has a win over Masvidal and Bilal has a win over Chris Curtis. Good night, brother. Shit. I don't know. I can't think. Holland KO Jeff Neal. Yeah, that's a good one. Holland KO Jeff Neal. That's the, one of the better ones to think of. Um, Vicente Luque KO. Yeah, chat. Yeah, deal's got it. Luque versus Santos is another one. Um, I want to say that Hernandez, Alexander Hernandez, has a win over someone as well. Corey Sandhagen, maybe, or I don't know who it is. I can't remember, but yeah, a couple like that, I guess. Um, yeah, Joe Duffy beat Conor McGregor. True. No, oh, that's Jamal Emmers. Yeah, Jamal Emmers has a win over Sandhagen. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Watching Ariel talk serious about Dana was cringe. Dude, Ariel's got main character syndrome recently, man. With his walk-off at the end. Take the headphones off and walk off and have the screen play this next thing. Like, dude, Ariel's getting too big for his boots, man. Need to cut him down a peg. How much longer does Max have the goat chin and who finally cracks it? Arnold Allen. No, I don't know if anyone's going to crack it, but someone might TKO him. Or something along those lines. But I don't know if someone's going to crack it and put him out cold. That's the difference. Um, but not for a while, I don't think anyone's going to KO Max Holloway until he moves up to lightweight, maybe. Then something could happen. Thank you for the $5, darling boy MMA for sweethearts. Can you imagine Bisping commentating a Shara Magomedov fight? It'll be so insufferable. I hope it never happens. I hope it never happens somehow, yeah. Like the one-eye moments, he'll constantly mention how they're both Cyclops. Yeah. When I fought with one eye, trust me, I'm the expert here, guys. <laughs> yeah, take it away, Michael Bisping. <laughs> hey, uh, I'll speak on this. Uh, I know how it's like to fight with one eye. <laughs> Who could forget Michael Bisping? Thank you for the $5, darling boy MMA for sweethearts. Can you imagine Bisping commentating a Shara Magomedov fight? It'll be so insufferable. I hope it never happens. I hope it never happens somehow, yeah. Like the one eye moments, he'll constantly mention how they're both Cyclops. Yeah. When I fought with one eye, trust me, I'm the expert here, guys. <laughs> yeah, take it away, Michael Bisping. <laughs> hey, uh, I'll speak on this. Uh, I know how it's like to fight with one eye. <laughs> Who could forget Michael Bisping? Thank you for the membership or the money and Frank's son. And okay, shut up, dude. Thank you for the two pounds. That was to be if you want. <laughs> Martin say no, did in fact stuff. Je dude, fuck Jeff Neal. How has he ever become a top level fighter, mate? Fuck him. That's crazy.
Allen standing TKO's max. I could definitely see it. I could. I could see Allen. I could see Allen just swinging with him, like going crazy, and one of them's going to get caught. And Allen's got weirdly quick hands. Usman would definitely confront you at an event. Yeah, I don't know, though. Who would be most likely to confront me at an event, chat? Think about all the fighters that are on the roster and all the people behind the scenes and all of the uh, commentary and all of this and all of that. Arnold Allen. I mean, Arnold Allen are cool. Bisping. Yeah, maybe Bisping. Uh, your fans. Okay, Bisping for sure. Goddard. Casey O'Neill. Fucking Casey O'Neill, dude. Shut up. Um, one of the people in Islam's camp. Yeah. You guys are forgetting about Dagestanis. You guys are forgetting all about the Dagestani contingent. Dan Hardy for sure. Yeah, maybe. Thank you for the four pound forty nine, Dexter. I appreciate you. Okay, one more. Bisping reacting to Cormier not laughing at his cringe joke impression and getting David Lucas flashbacks, throwing a couple buddies. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I guess you could say it's El Phenomeno. <laughs> all right, all right, Michael. Uh, we're trying to watch the fight. Well, all right, and you can fat con. I'll can fat you, buddy. Thank you for the four pound forty nine. Is that? I know. I saw the David Lucas thing. Dude, if anyone wants to see, to this guy's point, uh, the the donator, Dexter, if you want to see something funny with Bisping, watch uh, Michael Bisping, uh, David Lucas. He can't take a fucking joke. He loses his fucking mind at like a Kill Tony thing. He cannot take the joke at all. The guy was like poking fun at him, like lightly. He, I think the guy said, you look like... Um, you have, someone has to put you to a, in a headlock just to get you to sleep at night or something like that. You look like you can't sleep at night until someone puts you in a headlock. Something like that. And then Bisping just went like, like ah, well, I, how about backstage? I fuck you up then. <laughs> like, uh, okay, <laughs> chill out, dude. And then he even started saying, dance for me. Yeah, dance for me. And then there was like some weird connotation with that. <laughs> it was weird. It was so weird. Thank you for the two dollars, Rudy. I appreciate your two dollars, good sir. Who wins if Zabit and Ilya fought? Um, you know what, Zabit, I reckon. I reckon Zabit at featherweight. I think he'd look, like really pick at him at range pretty well in a three rounder, especially. But then again, Ilya with the body shots. But like, I don't know. I feel like Ilya has more. I don't know. Jai Herbert is very chinny. Yeah, I'm in. But uh, I reckon Zabit would probably win that. But that would be a great fight. <laughs> Thank you for the two pound stars. Bisping with Alzheimer's impression. Also 1v1 CSGO. No, I'm not going to play you on CSGO, dude. No, I haven't played CSGO in ages. Um, Bisping with Alzheimer's impression. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Bisping, Bisping, we're at dinner. What? Oh, sorry. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> they're just at a restaurant. Bisping's just zoning out. <laughs> uh, Bisping. Uh, what would you like for starters? <laughs> what? Who's that? Who's that at? Jesus. Michael Bisping confronting you impression. Listen here, buddy. I can hear what you're fucking saying. You know what I mean? Give it all this on the fucking internet. Think you're a fucking tough guy, huh? Thank you for the $5, Cheddarhead. Appreciate your $5, good sir. Guru on Jesse on fire reading fan mail like he's Mike Harrington impression. Um, I'm not going to be reading fan mail like I'm Mike Harrington. All right, Jesse, this one says, Hey, Gabrielle, when are you going to send those nudes we arranged? Uh, what what, 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 what you got to say about this one, Jesse? All right, all right next one, Jesse. Uh, this one says, uh, this one's from Jeff in Kansas. It says, Hey, Jesse, I'm going to fucking beat up your daughter. Thank you for the two Canadian dollars. No one in particular. 
Does Blades beat Jones? Just asking for the 15%. Okay. Thank you for the two Australian dollars, dude. Um, no, I don't think Blades beats Jones, but maybe, but I don't think he does. I think he'll slow down too much, get teeped up a little bit, you know? <laughs> Darren Till explaining how he's still the greatest after his daughter beats him in what was meant to be play wrestling. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. I wasn't even trying. I let it. I let her win. Yeah, we know, Darren. That, you're the dad. Like, of course you let her win. No, you have to believe me. I let her win. I didn't lose again, mate. It's fucking good army, mate. <laughs> I told me ACL. <laughs> fucking ACL's gone again. He's just <laughs> wrestling with his daughter, his one-year-old daughter. My fucking PCL's fucking gone. My hand's broken. Light a bong right now. We don't have bongs in the UK, mate. <clears throat> Coke in a backpack. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. That was the best training I've had in years, lad. <laughs> Thank you for the two pounds, Mr. Nimbus. Top five current fighters melting the USADA test cups. John Jones, Johnny, 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 John Jones, probably Paulo Costa. Um, I don't know who else. Usman, Desanya, Dillashaw still on residuals. I think Figueredo's on something as well. He's got horns growing out of his head for Fook's sake. William Knight, true. Yes, William Knight. Nate Diaz in Japan. Hold up. Why are you enthused? Um, thank you for the $5, Austin McCrary. Thanks so much for entertainment. Do you think Jones's success is due more to his natural talent or his massive cheating? Um, cheating, but he also has natural talent on top of it, or he wouldn't be a world champion. But cheating is a massive part of it for sure. You know, thank you for the five dollars, Austin McCrary. So I'd say fifty fifty. Yeah, you know I mean. Cause if you weren't cheating, he would have lost all the close fights he had. So talent is a lot of a part of it, but the cheating has made him consistently on top. He probably would have got a belt anyway, but the fact that he's a goat is probably because of the cheating. What was your worst take in accuracy, ignorance of topic being in the history of the MMA channel? Yuri Prohaska is a fucking can crushing bum and he'll never be anything in the sport. He'll get chinned by Ozdemir and then lose again and get fucking cut from the UFC. <sighs> I just didn't consider at the time that, hang on, he's probably fighting better light heavyweights. Even though they're retired UFC fighters that are over at Rising, he's probably fighting better light heavyweights than some regional guy fighting a 7-0 and guy who hasn't got much experience. You know? So yeah, that was a bad one. I didn't say all of that. I just said he would he would lose to Ozdemir in his debut, and I didn't think he was that good. And you know what I mean? I thought he was going to get chinned because he got KO'd by King Mo. Thank you for the eight Australian dollars. Bus up, boys. Hello, Mason Trump. Describing Brendan Schaub impression, please. Brendan Schaub, what a retard this guy is. Brendan Sharp, what a downy. Thank you for the eight Australian dollars, dude. Appreciate your eight Australian dollars, good sir. What a retard this guy is. Um Pasha Pasha T. Thank you for the five dollars, Colombian dagger. Give me your best American southern accent. Give me your best American southern accent, brother. Mm -hmm. Why don't you keep walking, boy? You ain't from around these parts. John Anik in Jerusalem would be more like it's going to be an explosive night tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can't believe Joe defended him. Who you talking about here? Thank you for the membership, Mike Jitsu. Appreciate you, man. Mm. Um, Guru, other streamers are so soft and sore compared to your chat. 
I can literally get banned for saying anything in those chats, whereas we including you all say the N-word with no kind. Don't put me in this when I'm doing this accent. You don't put me in this. Not while I'm saying stuff like this. Um, I even saw a real mole man, or it was just a trans. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, see you later. Thank you for the $2, Gina Carano. D Dylan pulling out to fight Cheetos. Uh, we're done with the stream now. Anyway, see you later, guys. Toodle Pip. I'm <laughs> doing an impression of that. Anyway, there's a video out on the channel right now. That video is Dana White's Power Slap debut cancelled. Oliveira versus Dariush next. <laughs> Jake Paul PFL. MMA News reaction. Go and check it out on the channel right now. Toodle Pip. See you later. Goodbye. Members go to the community tab. Non-members go and check out the video on the channel right now. Members community tab. See ya. Go check out the video on the channel. Do it. Do it.